Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the cannot obtain IP address error on your PlayStation 4. So this error is 339847. Let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So when it comes to fixing problems, it's best to start with the easiest and the most obvious and work your way to the more advanced problems. So the first thing we should do is make sure that the PlayStation Network is up and running. So to do this on your PlayStation 4, go up to the top bar and then scroll all the way to the right to settings. Then scroll all the way down to network and select this option. Then go to view status of PlayStation Network. And here a web page is going to load. And it's going to tell you what's working on PlayStation Network and if it's down. So right now, everything is up and running. If PlayStation Network was down, you may not be able to log in or use these services on here. And that's why you're getting this error. So if PlayStation is up and running. Let's go on to step number two. Let's go ahead and back out of this menu. So let's go to set up internet connection. It's like this. And if you're using the LAN cable, go ahead and try using Wi-Fi. And if you're using Wi-Fi, go ahead and try using LAN. I've had problems in the past where my LAN cable just doesn't work, but my Wi-Fi doesn't. And I was able to circumvent this problem. So let's go ahead and just set up my Wi-Fi right now. And go to custom. And I want to make sure everything is on automatic just in case my PlayStation 4 has a static IP. I want it to be a dynamic IP. So I have Mr. Beast selected right here. Let's go ahead and select this. And I'm going to set my IP address settings to automatic. Do not specify for my DHCP hostname. DNS server, I'm going to set that to automatic. However, if you want to go to manual and then put in a primary DNS as 8.8.8, .8 8.8 .8, press r2 done then go to the secondary dns and put in 8.8.4.4 this will be google's open dns server for the public use and it may be a little bit quicker and closer than your service provider's dns server so let's go ahead and go to r2 and done and go to next mtu settings automatic proxy server do not use and we can go ahead and test the internet connection from here and see if this fixes your problem. You're able to connect to PlayStation Network and everything's working. So the next thing I want to go ahead and try is clearing the cache from the PlayStation 4 and your router and modem. And seeing if that is the problem that's causing your PlayStation 4 from not obtaining an IP address. So right now let's go ahead and hold down the PlayStation button on the controller. Go down to power and then go to turn off. Don't go to enter rest mode, just go to turn off so there's no lights showing on the front of the PlayStation 4. So once your PlayStation 4 is completely turned off, mine is still blinking just a little bit, let's go ahead and unplug it from the back of the PlayStation 4 and just take out the power cable right here. And just leave that unplugged here for a while here once we get our modem and our router unplugged we're going to wait about 30 seconds to a minute and then plug it back in so my router and modem is a single unit you may have two separate devices for yours one will be your modem and one will be your router but i like having them together because it's just a lot more convenient for my setup here i have limited space so let's go to the back of it and unplug it here and then we're going to go ahead and wait about 30 seconds. Now, if you are having problems, what you can do is leave it unplugged for 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Sometimes you may be having a problem with the IP address on your PlayStation 4. Or maybe your PlayStation 4's IP address is even banned. So you want to go ahead and try to get your modem to prompt you a new IP address. And you can do that by leaving your router and modem unplugged for a long period of time so once we have waited let's go ahead and plug it back in so that's plugged in and secured and make sure all these cables on the back of it are secured and working as well sometimes they may be pulling up and coming out and do the same thing on the back of your PlayStation 4 right here if you are using the LAN cable 
And another thing is, if you have one of the newer PlayStation 4s, like the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 4 Slim, you are able to connect to 5G for the Wi-Fi. Go ahead and try using just the standard 3G connection for the Wi-Fi. That may help you in this situation, but ultimately you may have to reset your router and modem to fix any issues you're having. So hopefully one of those tips did indeed help you out and you're able to connect back to PlayStation Now and your IP address is finally working. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it two thumbs up and leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more PlayStation 4 tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.